it's Sarah and I have a haul and I just want to talk to you guys about what I'm thinking so um, pretty sure it was Roxifer Roxifer um, I've been seeing a lot of haul videos with washi tape from the Dollar Tree and I have a Dollar Tree like not even five minutes from here and I go there all the time and I have not seen this washi tape well today I found it and I got like every one they had um, it's a dollar they have some really really cute patterns I ended up getting 16 of them um, this is look how cute those patterns are this is a washi dispenser that is made by scotch that I actually got at um, Huh, staples. I went to Staples too, and I'll tell you in a minute. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and you could probably fit twelve. Nah, just eleven. Stick with eleven. Um, I love it. So you can see them, and it actually has a little cutter on the edge. So I got that. That was like seven ninety nine. But I did want to share that one of them I got. This one is actually a um it's a sticker it's not like a washi tape it's a sticker it has a backing but there is a little glitter on the clear stripe let's see and as for the other ones they're not like your normal washi they're um they have a waxy finish to them just in case you were wondering i mean with the quality for a dollar i mean it rips nicely it's pretty sticky. I mean, I, I haven't stuck it on paper yet, um, but it, it's pretty sticky. I'm liking, I mean, I like it. It's just a different, oh, it didn't come off. There we go. It's a different texture. All of them are the same, except for, like I said, this, um, this stripe was the only one of the ones I opened. I'm going to open this. Um, let's see, one roll. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it can't. I kind of overlapped these and they came off each other too so I mean that was good to know but this one was actually um, it had a backing on it so the stickiness wasn't it wasn't like on a roll and I guess that's because of the glitter because if the if it was rolled on round it, itself like you know like washi tape is it would probably pick up the glitter so that's a good idea for them to do that. So I just, I don't know how many of you are onto this, the washi tape at um, the Dollar Tree. And it's the Dollar Tree, not Dollar General or any of the other dollar stores. Um, but really cool. I was really happy with this one because I'm going to put this in my July in my um, planner. And I really did like this glittery one too. Um, so I got a lot of those. I got these sticky notes. And these are... I just like the size. I, I haven't had anything in this size, and I like the uh, colors, really pretty colors. This is um, a correction tape. I haven't tried it yet. I should open it and try it. But just to have on hand, instead of white out for your planner, because um, I have made a mistake, and then I ended up covering it with like this lab these labels. I just cut this, which worked fine. I cut a piece of this label off and put it over what I wrote in the wrong place, and then you can write right over it again. But I just figured I'd get that. And then they had these. These are super cute. These are paper tape stickers. So let's see, you get 16. So there's probably two sheets. And I just couldn't resist. Like, I love the houses. The gingham check is super cute. There's polka dots, the butterflies. I mean, you know, even the farm is adorable and the polka dots. So then there's this one with the owls. I could not, I should have gotten two of these. This is just super cute. So cute for a dollar, right? And this one's like more of a birthday one, but it has stars, little colorful bears. And I don't have a lot of stars, but this is like a sticker washi tape type thing so it's a sticker in a you know in a tape form so I got that I got these at the Dollar Tree because I never I don't have any of these and I know people um, are using these with planners and with just for anything really you can um, bundle up a lot of different things with these and I'm gonna try and decorate these with some washi um, I know people um, 
and these were from the dollar store so that's pretty cool so I like this because you got minis you got large medium and small so I could try them in all the different sizes uh, I got a pack of cards just a regular pack of playing cards because in pocket letters you can put washi on the card because it's a waxy base and then it's easier to get the, the washi off and these fit right in the pocket letters so I got that um, I think oh I got a back scratcher because I have a very itchy back and I can never get it so then I went to Staples and I went to Staples specifically to find these labels these are for a challenge and I'm totally late for this challenge and I and I'm sure you guys have seen it um, Lister's got a list the Lister's got a list challenge it is um, Corey who is where's my little note here the reset girl on YouTube and she's a big into Instagram too so um, I just couldn't resist anymore and I started watching it and I'm gonna do it like I'm not big into challenges so um it really was cool though because i this one specifically because i thought to make a little journal about me i don't know it could be something that i keep and pass on to my kids or my grandkids even like just to know a little bit about me you know top 10 most mo best moments of my life places i want to go best meals i ever ate and where just really cool um so it's a 30 day um lists right and it was really easy Corey has on her channel or YouTube channel she has um step-by-step -step decorating and it's she uses these little I got these at Staples too these are amazing these are two little line journals I'm going to open a pack um for a dollar these were a dollar and um look how cute these are so I did just order a Midori Traveler's Notebook um, and I'm planning on making a faux dory as well. I bought leather to try it, but look how cute. These have gold foil and then they're just the stitched notebook. So let me try to find the middle because I think I'm going to try and make some myself of these. So this is just stitched. It has actually pink stitching in there. So cute. So I got the floral one and then this has a chevron and a whatever that pattern's called, I know what it's called. Um, but for a dollar, you get two little books. So I ended up going to Michael's today and I got, I actually got this elastic at um, Joann's, but I got the leather, this is a piece of leather. And I think I paid, I used a 50% off coupon, I paid six bucks for this. It was $11.99, I'm pretty sure, yep. And so I used the coupon and it's an 11 by eight and a half by 11. I'm planning on cutting it in half and I'm gonna make a faux dory. I'm gonna make um, like a little cover. If those of you who don't know what a Midori is, just enter it in. Actually go to um, the Reset Girls channel. She has a great video. Um, the one-on-one, -on -one, it's a 101, I don't know what it's called all about Midori or something just go down her um, her videos it's a very I mean it explains it completely it's so um, simple so I bought these elastics to make um, my elastic bands and everything so I'm gonna try it I am getting mine tomorrow I ordered on I ordered mine from Amazon and I only ordered um, one of these books of the Midori books because there are vendors on um, Etsy that make them with like colored paper and all types of stuff I thought I might be able to find them even like at Staples or I went to BAM which is books a million here um, and they didn't have any of these um, stitch little notebooks but um, I'm planning on trying to make a few because I want to make some with watercolor paper and I want to make some with drawing paper so that I can have it as an on-the-go kind of sketchbook too if I choose to because you can interchange your books so I'm gonna play with that um, I also got 
paper clips at Staples because I I didn't have a lot of paper clips. I had some smaller ones, um, but these were a little bigger. They're the jumbo, um, and so these are like a metallic-y one, and these are just, um, I got the pastels. I'm more of a pastel girl, but then I just made all these paper clips, and I'll show you what I did. I'm not sure that I love them or what I think of them yet. Of course, I did some flags just with washi just to see what it was like. And I'm telling you, this is kind of interesting. It's got a waxy finish to it. But um, let's see, I'm just going to put it on here. I mean, cute, right? It's just a little flag. And I mean, it can go, you could put it to the side. And actually, these are good for um, pocket letters and stuff because they're not going to stick out. I mean, if you want it to stick out, but this one's more, that's going to like keep your page, right? And I mean, I didn't love how this one turned out. I, I would tweak it a little bit um, or maybe even use a ribbon. I don't know. I think ribbon might even look cuter than the washi on that. But then I did these and these are done with buttons. You know, I love my buttons, right? So like these, for instance, I use just little um, gold paper clips. So these are about the classic size of paper clips. This one, I cut the, the shank off on the first one. This one, I left the shank on, and I'm not sure which one I prefer. I did some of these. I'll show you how I did them, but like, look. So on this little book, because it has the gold foil, I just thought that would look super cute, right? And it doesn't go, let's see, much further than that. Like, the shoe kind of sits right on top. And then this one, I think, can actually go down a bit further um, because, you know, it depends. But, like, how cute is that to stick out of your planner or something? The only thing is, the back doesn't exactly look cute, you know? So, I was thinking you could put felt on the back or, I don't know. I know Lolly, she's been making a lot of these. Um, Irene has made... Um, not a lot of these with buttons, but she's been making a lot of paper clips. Um, and so I'm not sure. This is my first attempt. I just know, I just have a lot of buttons, so I decided to try it with buttons. But look how cute this little owl is, right? So I'm going to put him on this one. And these are um, the bigger, the jumbo. But look how cute that looks, right? Oopsie. I just think it's cute, but see what the back looks like? It actually has the shank on it. And I don't know, I mean, obviously when you turn the page, you're gonna see the ugly side. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. If you had it like say, inside your planner, actually I don't think that would be a good idea either because it's gonna make it too chunky, especially for um, the ones that have the shank on it, right? Like you put it down here Nobody's going to see the back of it, but then it's going to be like a big bump in your planner. See, look at that, the big bump. So I'm not sure about the shank. I'll show you a couple that I did. Um, let's see. Look at the cupcakes. So I just used, it's kind of a standard size. Um, I used the, uh, where the heck is it? The 9000 or whatever it's called glue. Where is it? The E6000, E6000 glue, because that just holds anything. It's super strong. So look at these little cupcakes, though. I left the shank on that. The shanks are on those. So I'm going to have to figure something out to make the back cuter. And then I just did a little butterfly, and that's like on a bigger metallic one. And I left the shank on that. I'm going to put him back on here. Um... So then these are my London ones. I, my, you guys know my mom is from England. Um, and this, these, I took the shanks off these. So these are really flat. They're still not cute in the back. I mean, you still see it, right? Um, and then the shank is still on the bus, the double-decker bus. But how cute. So I love those. Then I had to do some, I did a big old castle. And that has, no, I took the shank off of that one. So that one would be flat. Wonder if that could go well. I don't, we don't need to try every single one. I think I left the shank on the crown, and then I have just like a little princess. I love the buttons. I mean, the, um, they're all buttons. The 
the daisies. And I did leave the shank on them except for the little one. I took it off there. So I could just put like a little round piece of felt back there. Just glue it on and it would, you know, dish kind of cover on certain shapes especially. So even I could probably cut these shanks off now and try that. But look at this one. This one I actually glued back to back two ladybugs and these were buttons I just cut the shank off and glued them back to back on a, it's on a bigger um, uh, paper clip too but um, I just thought they kind of went cute together right and then I did all these ladybugs on little like these are on gold and I put hearts on the back so that kind of is a good idea I covered it with little heart buttons I'm just kind of scraping off the glue, seeing if that'll come off. Yeah, it'll come off. Oh, it's still a little tacky, because I think I doubled the glue on here so much, but it'll harden. So they're cute, right? Little tiny ones. And I did three in silver with the hearts on the back, and then just a couple more of these crowns. So I'll have to figure something out. I think I am going to cut the shank off. And then I'm just going to glue something to it, either felt, I think felt. I don't know why I think felt, because paper would probably be fine. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. So, I'm kind of, I did get out a few things um, to make clay. I painted a few boxes, and those are kind of in the works, and then I'm going to work on the lids. But I think I am going to, the next thing you'll probably see from me is my faux dory. Um, I'm very interested to see if I can do this. And um, there's a good tutorial by Ray. I know that. And I'll get all the information together when I do make it, when I actually make it. Um, but these are super cute at my staples. I might go get some more of these. And that's what I'm hoping to be able to use in this um I guess this would be the passport size of the Midori. So anyway, um, that's it for now, you guys. Thanks for watching.